Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You've three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. All right. industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became... unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? 
Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with those video cards up in 8 3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. Huh? Guys, Can't hide it! Joyce is here! Engaging. Over. Copy. Neutralize the target. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. Okay. Looks like that elevator needs power. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a monarch clonin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's what I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this. And I'm gonna find... We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. just went out. 
But Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never... You, from the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. Ugh. Okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah. Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. I think you need to get to this side of the gate somehow. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Well, that's something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. 
Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who's heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's gotta be the same guy. So Paul founded Monarch. Need to get up to that open window. Yeah, that window's pretty high up, but I think it's the only way in. that window. Do you think you can get in through there? The window, Jack. What do you think? That window, Jack? Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. Made it. Now to get to that door. and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced violence, me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. Like a terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you going on record out. to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio, I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too. Still no word on Joyce's location. 
Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... For you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up.
idea where I go next? And before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Yeah. I did some digging. 
This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Coral levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everything is done with the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amara. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area of Meyer Joyce particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 4th, 2010, Unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area, we now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the river port. There's got to be something I can use to get up there. <clears throat> oh. Not your average elevator. Jack, I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Tonight. After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Okay, getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Okay. Till then, hands off. Hello, Okay, looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but 
his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. Oh, the was in there. And it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks and answer it. stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. Yeah, he never tried to stop it.
Emil never told you what he did in that workshop? At Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. It's the only way forward. Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? What the hell? hell? What is, what is this? That already happened. What the fuck? I specifically requested copper clad Niobium. Well. to describe it. Will was gone, but <sighs> he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, Please don't do this. Don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul.
There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Yeah. Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this is... now. I'm not meeting yes, you. Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did.
close, Jack. It's like a goddamn maze in here. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music.
What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury's swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Any ideas how to get inside? The whole building's falling apart. There's gotta be an opening somewhere. What is it? There were others taken from the university. <gasps> Friends of mine. What happened to them? Hey! Should be released. I think I found now. a way in. Monarch convinced them the same way they convinced everybody else. That what Monarch did at the university was necessary to protect them from. Stutters aren't going away. <clears throat> Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. No wonder you were always coming up with crazy shit. You owned this place since... 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? $12,000 moving bill. You must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. I'll find you on the countermeasures completely. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sednak here, filling in for Bobby Radford. Any luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work.
This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. 2010. What Beth was that? I'm addressing this video to you. You recorded that for me in 2010. I workshop, but I couldn't just leave the it there. Fuck? I went back to get it. You said the, the countermeasure was gone? It's a disaster zone. The countermeasure is gone. Good. Taken. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Safe. Empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Help me push this out of the way. Our entire lives depend on it. <clears throat> for nothing. Jack, Please. your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> But I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Bay. Is that? Yeah, I think so. Second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. It's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leads to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. Here goes nothing. What was that? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked. 
Okay. We activate the corridor next. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. I can't insert the date yet. Step. I need to set up the machine first. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. 